Hey guys, so today is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now and this is kind of a journey for you and me because I'm actually going to try baking in this video. I'm sure you can already tell from the title, but yeah, it's the first time I've ever done it. I don't know how much of a difference it made than my normal routine, but that may just be the powder I'm using. I used the... Ooh, there's still some in the cap. Okay. That's cool. I've had problems with this today. I used the ELF High Definition Powder in Translucent, and I just set the unders of my eyes and the bottoms of my face, the contoured part, and yeah. So if you want to see how to get this look right here, and you want to join me on this lovely adventure, just keep watching. Hey guys, so today is a really exciting video for me because, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be trying baking. I haven't really caught on to the trend or like hopped on the bandwagon or anything. I know everyone's doing it now. It's like a thing to like bake your face and like set your concealer with it and highlight with it and stuff, but I just haven't really been a fan. I haven't like started doing it or anything, but today I'm going to be trying it with the <laughs> I'm going to be trying it with the ELF High Definition Powder, and I know that everyone uses the Laura Mercier one to bake with because it's like best thing in the world or whatever, it's like a thing in the makeup world right now, but I don't have that one. This is what I have, and this is what I'm going to be using. It's just a loose, translucent setting powder, and that's what I'm going to be using today. So, it... It's time to jump right into it. I've already done my eyebrows off camera and moisturized my face. I use the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. I guess that's what you call it. I don't know. Today I'm going to be using the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And I love this stuff. I feel like it just makes your face so dewy and beautiful. And it's just everything that I want in a primer. And I do feel like it makes my makeup last longer. So I just take about a pump of that on the... On my fingers, on my fingers. Rub it together a little bit and then just pat it on the face. I need like a towel or something. I'm just like rubbing excess on my hands. And now I'm going to be going in with my foundation. It is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. It's just what I use all the time. And I'm going to take two pumps of that. Or, let's go a pump and a half. Let's go a little bit lighter today. So I'm just going to first put that where I need the most coverage, which is always on my cheeks. Uh, my nose, my windows are open, so I feel like everyone's watching me. Now I'm going to go in with concealer. This is my Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Concealer in the shade Light Warm. I don't want to go too crazy with concealer today. Just... I'm taking my Real Technique sponge to blend that out under the eye. Make sure everything's nice and blended out. And I guess just jump right into the baking part. I'm going to set the under eye concealer with this powder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of it and put it in the lid. Just a little bit of that powder in the lid. I'm going to take just a basic beauty sponge and
This looks crazy. Okay. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the rest of my face with a little bit of my MAC Studio Fix in the shade NC25. Now I'm going to go into the Kat Von D shade Light Palette. And I'm going to be using this shade, this middle shade right here to contour my face. I'm going to take a little bit of that shade, dust it on the temples. Just for a little back into the face. Also, I'm going to run this down the sides of my nose with whatever is left over. Now I'm going in with a Morphe M438 and this shade, this kind of middle-y banana-y shade in the palette, and I'm going to also put it under the under eyes, but it's going to be more like a brightening and not so much a setting. I want to go back and clean up that contour with the baking method, I guess. Okay, let's try. Okay. Feel like we're getting somewhere. All that powder. Cool. Okay. Now I'm gonna let that bake and while that's happening, I'm going to do a little bit of blush and highlight to finish off the face. And I'm going to be using this NYX blush. And I'm going to be using Champagne Pop by Becca to highlight my face. I'm going to be using a Morphe M505 brush. This isn't a highlighting brush, it's just what I use to highlight my face. Now we'll move on to eyes. And for eyes, I kind of want to keep it kind of subtle, but I also want to do a pretty look. So what I'm going to do I'm going to go in with these two shades from the Too Faced Stardust Palette by Vegas Ney. And for my transition shade, I'm going to be using a NYX Singles Eyeshadow in the shade Craving. And it looks like this. Pink Pearl. And I'm blending these together using a Morphe MB23 brush. Right here, the strip. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with a Morphe M408 brush. And I'm going to take a little bit of that shade from before, that NYX transition shade. And I'm going to do kind of the same thing on the lower half of the eye that I did on the upper half of the eye. And to finish off the eyes, I'm going to go in with some mascara, and I'm going to be using the Maybelline Lash, Lash, hmm, Lash Sensational Mascara. And for highlighting my eyes and my brow bone, I really like to use this Eco Tools brush. It's one of their double-ended brush tools, and I like to use this side right here. And to top it off for lips, I used a combination of the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Mauve and the Maybelline lipstick in the shade Romantic Rose. And now I will spray some of my makeup setting spray, my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray on my face. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see the finished look.
and that is it for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.